Okay guys, so I'm at one of my yards out here. Um, and uh, just running through hives, putting feeders in them still. Um, these are hives that I made this year, so um, in the springtime. And, uh, and then there's, here's some just randoms and stuff like that. Just nukes that we made. Uh, this was a whole nuke section right here. Had a lot of nukes right here that we sold. And uh, here's what's just kind of left over. I've been making splits and little nukes and taking them over here to put clean cells in them. Two throughout here and just I keep selling these hives. These are, these boxes right here are, are full of beehives, um, little nukes that actually I'm selling. I put these in as equipment, and uh, and uh, I'm gonna sell them to them. It's a buddy of mine, so here's what they look like, though. It's about one, two, three, four, five frames of bees. Nice little nuke right there. That's what most of them look like. Okay. And uh, they're making a lot of brood right now too, so. So yeah, this is what I got going on over here on this side of the yard and this is what I'm working on today. Um, we did this yesterday. So, this is what we got to do today and get through this. But uh, I'll run through some hives and show you what they look like and uh, what not as I'm working. Okay, so let's start on these hives right here. They look like rearrange a few things and put a feeder in them, most likely. That's what we're pretty much doing. Well, that's pretty decent right there. Making some good, good, beautiful brood up here. One, two, three frames laid into that brood. That treatment out. And yeah, this one needs a needs a feeder. So. Needs a feeder and an insulation sheet. That's how I run most of my calling feeders and insulation sheets. I like to put an insulation sheet on them because I just feel like they uh, help them get temperature better. That way I don't have to feed them as hard. Probably check out a frame of brood just to see what they're doing. Just to give you an idea of what nukes are doing that I just showed you a little bit of. Let's see. We're just moving up on that. It's a good pattern right there. Definitely making some really good brood. this comb making some bees it's gonna be a really big hive in a few weeks to a month or so That's for sure. 
This one looks like it's uh, almost a full box right there. Good chunk of bees up there. They definitely need a feeder. This is a full box of honey almost right here. One, two, three, and they're, they're bringing it in. So just mark this one. It'll get a patty only. Let's see what this one is right here. These are my queens that I made. There she is right there too. Speaking of her. She's right there. She's got that all laid up. Just honey on that side. Let's see what's going on over here. a little better. I gotta do this whole yard. Just get the rest of them done. And I'm done for the day. So let's keep going and uh, we'll check out these ones right here. bit more ticky or whatever. We don't care. I don't know. So, check her out. Really haven't had a chance to check her out. All I had a chance to do is just kind of check for eggs. So, I can tell it needs a feeder. But depending on what the brood looks like right now, 
I'm going to put another box and a feeder on top of it. Okay. So far so good. I can tell that there's some really good cap root already. Yeah, that's just a beauty. This is why I like raising my own queens, honestly. This is probably the most rewarding part of beekeeping for me, is being able to do this. And uh, this is the yard I do it on mainly too. So all the bees are a lot softer on this yard. There's no removals, just a couple. So, yeah, smoking good uh, pattern. Smoking a good hive, healthy, healthy bees, good queen. Okay, I don't really need to look through it too much more than that. They're working a uh, John Comb more over here on this side right here, I've noticed. So, see all that? Kind of working on that as it comes in. And a bit over here. What I'm going to do is uh, put this frame over here. Just because they're not really over here working this side. There's some bees on this one. Let me get a box and the feeder and we'll be done with this one. beef are just boxed on the third. So that way we know to feed it up real good. Okay. Let's check this one out. See how these girls are looking. Hopefully they look just as good or better. Yeah, they're weaker. They're on this frame and this frame. A little bit on this frame. Okay, so some emerging stuff. No eggs. Don't like that. Something's up. Huh? Beautiful. Super, super wet. Gorgeous looking pattern. Really good looking uh, larvae in there. Okay. There's just barely there's barely eggs on this side. Larvae and eggs on this side mostly. Let's see. Beautiful, just beautiful. So they're gonna build up nicely for the almonds, no problem. Don't think I need to boost it or anything like that. Just super healthy stuff. Not sure if you can see inside of there. Really healthy stuff. Beautiful, healthy, beautiful pattern. Smoking good bees, making some really good brood. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a really nice looking pattern right there. Really nice chunk of brood. Looks like they're just working on this one. Probably gonna have some eggs and stuff on it. Let's put this baby back together. I'm actually gonna 
give this one another box too. A box on top of this one. Start feeding it, building it up. So I'm very confident that they're gonna move up into here. This is a nice strong comb. Feeding the patty this side is just gonna be, it'll be up here in just a few weeks to a month. No problem. It'll be a nice full box by then. And uh, beautiful hive. Check this one out. Let's see how they're doing. Hopefully they're the same or better. I'm okay with that. Okay, there's another small one. I'm okay with these small ones when they're made not too long ago. I only made them with like a frame or two of brood. A couple frames of brood, but not solid sheets. Alright. So I see about five, six strains of bees in here. Decent. That's emerging. It's all laid up. Okay. Let's see what else they got. I don't want to look through every one of them, but just want to do it for the camera. It's just to kind of show you guys what I do and what I work with. Here's the queen right there. She's a beauty right there. Right there. Good pattern. another frame of brood right here just the same so but I'm gonna shut this up I don't want to keep it open keep kind of running through them like that but a few frames is cool what I want to do though is put a nice feeder in here get them to draw up on this box and they'll be ready for a box probably in a month or so maybe Good hive though, good young hive. This will make it to the almonds for sure too. I can just tell. Some patty and some feed. And... That's all they need. Okay. I guess let's just keep going. Let's get this, this pallet done. Another smaller one. Let's see what they're doing, Let's see what their pattern looks like. Smoking good right there. Okay. Smaller, but definitely gonna grow. Take this frame out. Let's give it a feeder. young hive weaker hive but not like weak in any sense definitely a strong little hive it's just young young queen made smaller not a not a full box of bees with the queen type stuff this is uh just queen cells so This 
Oh no. Doesn't look good at all. Draw him there. Draw him there. on another one. Huh. It's funny, it's a drone layer, but there's the queen. See, this is just a drone laying queen. Check this one out. Hopefully it's not a drone layer. This one looks decent. Check it out. Let's see what kind of brood they got going on. Just want to check just to make sure they're doing doing what I want them to do. And they are. Really nice brood right there. Not the best pattern, but patterns aren't um, the only thing I'm looking for. I'm looking for a queen that wants to build a nest. This queen does, so. Definitely want to keep her around if she does. I like big nests. Okay, let me get this one to feed her. Yeah, it's just a small nest. It's probably only about five frames of bees. Got it all laid up, maxed out. Yeah, it's just a small little high. Not the best pattern. I don't see any signs of diseases or anything like that. The brood looks really healthy to me. Uh, it looks like it might have a mind issue. to the just where they're working at. I need to check this one a little bit further. Put the light wash and uh, maybe just kill a queen and combine them with the, the one next to it for the year. Don't really want to keep feeding Hives like that. Just better just to combine them both, make it a decent double, and get rid of that one. Just check a few of these doubles out after uh, looking at these and see what we got to work with. So 
so this is a hive that I put a queen in. It's not a hive that I I made a queen. So that's why it's definitely further along. I mean, they got a full box of honey, pretty much. A little bit of brood, just a little bit of brood right there. It's a good hive. It doesn't need to be fed. switch out the box because it broke so I'll have to run through this whole thing it has an H on it so this top should be pretty heavy it's all full of bees too good brood up there I can see five or six frames if it's healthy it's getting big it's going to be twice the size probably and the big ones like this one is going to be a lot bigger this will be two boxes of these easy it's not already a good little pattern so she's not trying to get large large down here but through. what I see right here I see a nice little patch of cat brood where I'm at right now to be fed. Two boxes of bees. Nice. And they're not they're not up here at all. This is just all honey. And uh, that's all bees. Bees and green. Honey, honey. Too high. Doesn't need to be fed. Doesn't need a feeder. Yeah. 
There's just so much honey and resources, just leave it alone for right now. Put a patty in it if you need to. Normally they would have a feeder and all that honey, but um, I made this yard with no feeders. So, let's check these ones out. Things are going good, I like that they're heavy like that. So, just keep shooting. Keep shooting for not having to feed them. <laughs> Save some money. Oh, this one's heavy too. Super heavy. Okay. It's a beauty right there. Really good looking colony. A lot of brood right here. A lot of good looking brood right here. A lot of honey. A couple frames of honey. Brood, 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 brood. Okay. So we're going to split this one. Made a call. I got to make uh, some more splits. So we still got some queens left. This one definitely we can make a nice split with. Put this one. Just double check the top to see the double in the half. Full of young bees. So it's gonna be a beautiful split that we can we can move the split on this yard like wherever I want on a pallet. And it we'll probably end up being a box of bees and a box of bees, or maybe roughly a box of bees, and the other one's a little bit more than a box of bees, just stuff like that. Most likely will happen. This one I can definitely split. Need to split. And I'll put this right here. Now I can split it. Let's check this one out next to it. Too. Nice. This does not need to be fed any syrup. Cool. It's a good uh, chunk of bees in there. I would say. Not uh, as much as make me happy though. But a decent amount. They look pretty healthy just by looking at them. So let's see. See what's going on a bit. Let's check out their brood. This is one I put a queen into. All these doubles I put queens in. Let's uh, this frame off. It's got bees on it, decent amount of bees on it too, so that's always good. It's always good when you got bees on the outside right here. It is a actually a pretty big colony you now that I'm looking at it and the bees are kind of coming up like that. So, they're not making a lot of brood though. Don't see any eggs. best pattern but it'll work for now I don't see any eggs but I do see larvae like really young larvae that just hatched. Okay, let's just keep going this way, I guess. Keep looking for these eggs. Okay. She is 
Ryan's laying it up on these frames over this side. Let's go one more just to see if we can see it. She's got some decent cap rid. Uh, she doesn't have the best pattern. These look pretty healthy. You don't see any signs of deforming virus or anything like that. Struggles. All the brood looks really nice. All the open larvae. It's really shiny and healthy. So it's a healthy hive. Not the best queen. That's the issue here. Otherwise it would be flooding with bees. It'll work for this year. A lot better. Beautiful box of bees down there. Gentle as can be. A ton of bees up here. The full box. They're not making any brood up here. Just doing their honey thing up here. Nice hive. Real gentle. It's the beauty. Wish they're all like this. Oh, super heavy. I mean, just super heavy. Oh. Let's check out a little bit of what's going on up here. We're making honey on this yard. We're pulling in some honey for sure. Need to be split too. Just didn't see a lot of brood up here. I like to split up. I like to know that they're making brood on both. Both ends. Up and down. There's definitely some good looking bees in here. Just doesn't they don't very young. Too many will fly back to the old spot. Okay, so they're putting in some nectar. Kind of a got a greenish tint to it. Let's check this frame. It's a nice, nice Pirco frame that they drew out for me this year. Look at that, though. That's what they're putting in. Some honey, I'm making honey. Cool. This hive doesn't need to be fed. It won't need to be fed all year. Sure, most likely. Until we probably get it to the almonds. Okay. Doesn't need a feeder either. Alright, let's see what this one looks like. Let's see if this thing needs anything. Feels lighter, but it doesn't need doesn't need to be fed. Still pretty heavy. Nice though. It's decent. It's not huge, but it's decent. It's really good looking brood. Shoot the brood out of this one. This will be the last one we video, so I can just tell it's just making a ton of good brood right now. Smoking good. Okay. 
I like these Pirco frames too. The beads really take to them really well. Draw them out really easy out here. Okay. Good pattern. Just building up. Decent nest, that's for sure. Decent nest, that's for sure. This nest is going to be big. In just a few weeks, it's going to be like twice as big. Nice. Nice. Almost wall to wall type stuff. I really like seeing this stuff on a smaller hive like this. Just really stretching that nest out all the way to the edges as far as you can, at least, you know. Okay, let's check the one more on the center. Let's see if we got a really good one. Well, not a lot of cat brood, but definitely a lot of good looking larvae. They're just starting to cap everything. This is just freshly capped right here, and this is just starting to be capped over here on these edges. Same thing right here. Just beautiful stuff. Just starting to be capped. Really good looking larvae. I'm not sure if you can see that, but just really pearly white, healthy stuff. These beads are gonna be healthy going into winter. They're making some really good bees out of their winter cluster. Not really winter out there, but for the cluster that'll hold them off. So I'll get them to the almonds. It's pretty heavy, like this hive really doesn't need to be fed. But I'm gonna put a feeder in the top because they don't have it maxed out with honey. Yeah, this is gonna be a, a full box of bees. Just a few weeks probably. Trying to draw that out. Let's just go through one more single just to see if we can find any more issues or problems or anything like that. If we can't, then it's not in good shape. This is a smaller one. So, yep, I made this one. It's got a number. Let's see what they're working with. Decent queen, or there isn't even a queen in there. I don't know, but we'll figure it out right now. See, what we got to work with. Okay, it's not too bad, not great, but she's definitely trying to build this nest out. The bees look relatively healthy, big. I don't see any signs of any kind of diseases. Um, I'm alive, right? So that's good. Let's see what we got on this frame. Okay, so she's not really doing her job. They're definitely filling up, they're back filling all these cells with some nectar. That's part of the issue. A 
And then there's a soup procedure cell with an egg. Egg and whatnot in there. So they're gonna try and super seed her maybe. Hopefully. We'll let them ride it out. This one needs a feeder too, so we'll grab one for it real quick. See how this looks in a few weeks. Probably put this one on top of another one and just combine it. Something weaker. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I'm gonna hit the rest of these hives up and start feeding some syrup and uh, be done with it. Have a good day.